Hello my friends and welcome to my channel. For those of you who are new, I'm Gina Louise. I like to do a lot of DIYs, trash to treasure, furniture flips, and enter a lot of the creative challenges. Please say hello in the comment area below and tell me where you're from. If you enjoy this video today, I would love it if you would subscribe to my channel and give me a thumbs up. Thanks for watching. In today's DIY, we're going to take this chopped garlic jar and we're going to make it into an adorable farmer's market basket for your tiered tray. Look how stinking cute this is. You can use it for your mini a miniature in your dollhouse as well and you probably have all the supplies you need. It's simple, it's easy, and so inexpensive to make, and it comes out so cute. And you can change the arrangement and the things that you put in it to match the seasons. Today's video is part of an open invite challenge to Make It New Challenge, hosted by Kiki from Kiki's DIY, <laughs> DIY and Jacina from B Thrifty Two. I have the link to their channels below as well as the playlist. Make sure you check out their channels and check out all the other creators in this playlist. For this project, all you're going to need is an empty garlic jar. I used uh, three pieces of raffia. I believe this raffia may have been from the hula, the hula skirt that the um, Dollar Tree carries. Um, I'm not sure, but anyway, you just need three pieces of raffia. You're going to tie them together in a knot. And what I like to do to make it easy is I take a piece of tape and I tape the end that I just knotted to the area, the table I'm working on. And it just holds it in place because what you're going to do now is you're going to just braid this raffia. And there you have it, a sweet braid. We're just going to put that on the side for now because we're going to use that in a little bit, but we don't need it right this minute. And now we're just going to take our garlic jar and our twine and we are going to glue this and wrap the entire jar with the twine. We're going to start at the bottom first going to put a little hot glue there to hold it in place and we're going to just make a spiral just wrap it around that first little dab of glue and we're just going to keep wrapping it around wrapping it around adding a little bit of glue as we go to hold it down until we completely cover the bottom of the jar You're going to just keep going until you come down the sides of the jar. And you're just going to keep on doing that. Keep wrapping it and wrapping it all the way around. I mean, it's not that hard to go over the little curved area because it's not a sharp little turn here. And then you're just going to keep wrapping and wrapping and wrapping until you start to go down to the sides. And when you get near the, the rim of it, we're going to add our uh, braided raffia that we made because we're going to create some handles with that. Now that you're at the top, this is where you're going to want to add your pretty little braided handles. So just take that, cut that little tip off the, of the raffia, take the raffia and just hot glue it near the rim and then we're just gonna do a little fold over 
to as big as we would like the handles to be. I wanted cute little small handles on the sides. At first I was going to make it like a carry basket with a handle on the tippy top. Oh, my glue just came off there. Um, but then I decided to do, I was going to go across and make it like as you pick it straight up like a bucket. But then I decided I just want to make little handles on the sides. So that's what I did. I just hot glued the the piece as long as I wanted the handle to be. Right there, just put a dab of your hot glue at the top there. And you're just going to press that along right onto that glue as long as you want your handle to be. And pressing it down with a pencil, holding it for a couple of seconds until it starts to take and hold. And then I'm just going to cut off the, the um, extra piece here of the braided raffia because we're going to use it on the other side to make the other handle. Now you're just going to continue wrapping the twine all the way up to the top of the jar and you're going to cover where the handles are glued because it's going to make it nice and strong. You can actually pick this up with something heavy in it. Not that you could fit too many things in it to make it heavy, but it becomes very strong by wrapping the twine around it. And then after that, you're just going to put in some cute little decor. You can make it little a little apple basket for your tiered shelf or flowers or whatever you would put in a farmer's market basket. I put in cotton, you're gonna see um, cotton stems. And I made the cotton stems and I have another video coming up this week showing you how to make cotton stems in either mini size for your tiered tray or you can make them the regular size and put them in vases. You save so much money making them and you can probably make them for free because all you really need is some twigs from your yard or a nearby woods or park and some cotton. And there are other, uh, there are a few different pieces that you can use to make the base that holds the cotton ball. I used acorn, little pieces of acorn, but there are other things you could use as well. And I'll have that video up this week. So that's it. Just keep winding it around till you get to the top. Secure it with some hot glue. I even took one more piece of the braided um, raffia that was left over. I wrapped that around just to give it a little decorative. I know that some people like to actually take a lighter to the twine and get rid of all the little fuzzies that stick out but me personally they don't bother me I kind of like it because that's the way twine is made and here we go this is what I did I wrapped it around as just like a little decorative braided raffia band around it and you're going to see I added a cute little twine bow to finish it off and then I just filled it up with some cute little um, greenery and acorns and like I said the cotton twigs but you go with whatever you like and you could change out the inside to go with the seasons. You could fill it up at Christmas time with like little mini Christmas balls or candy canes or, but so much you could do, but it's so cute, so easy. And it makes such a great display in your tear tray. I even put mine on a little um, lift, what do you call them? Um, you'll see, I have a video to make that as well. It's like a wooden spool that I created out of, of the leftover center of ribbon. And that's another video I'll be posting because those are great to put them in the tear trays to lift things up to make them higher. So that's it. I'm just gluing it down. I'm going to cut it and I'm going to put my little piece of twine, my little bow. See how stinking cute it's coming out? Now I'm just going to finish embellishing it and stuffing it.
And here are the final results. They're so cute. Here's that riser that I made out of the empty ribbon spool too. I used popsicle sticks and rope and you'll see that later. And I stuffed this with the homemade cotton stems that I made and some acorns and greenery boxwood. I think it came out so cute. And just think of all the ways you could decorate the inside of this farmer's basket. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. So think about subscribing to my channel. Please go visit Kiki's channel and Jacina's channel. All the links are below. Thanks for watching.